All right, so in this third video, we're going to use the uh, selective deghosting again. And again, uh, if you're just joining us, what we're addressing here is ghosting, um, which is basically the motion between the three brackets of images in HDR photography. And we can see this car here is in motion, and this car here is in motion. So let's get started. We're going to grab these same three images, drop them onto the Photomatix Pro icon, And we're going to use the same selections as in the second video, remove ghosts uh, with selective deghosting tool. And again, we'll zoom in so we can kind of see our subject area, which is in this case these two cars. I'm going to go ahead and draw around these two cars. And I'm going to mark that as a ghosted area. And I'm going to draw around this car and mark that as a ghosted area. Now in this case, I'm going to do this a little bit differently than I did last time. I'm going to go even more manual in the process. And by doing that, I'm going to right click the selected area and I'm going to set another photo for the selection. So what we're basically doing here is we're telling Photomatix, I want to decide which image we're going to use the car from, throw out the other two. So in this case, I'm going to use um, the normal or the zero exposure, and you can see that Photomatix has already selected that in this case. And I'm going to do the same thing over here and select the, the zero EV, which is our normal exposure. Um, and again, Photomatix had already guessed that. So Photomatix had done a pretty good job. But what we could do in this case, let's say for some reason we didn't like this selection, we could select another image from the bracketed set, like, uh, oh, what did we do here? So in this one, we did the uh, two over image, um, or we could do the two under image. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and set this back to the normal exposure and we'll go ahead and process this and just as before Photomatix is merging the images for us addressing the ghosting and those types of things so here's our final image and again I'll move this around so we can see a little better And again, uh, in this case, Photomatix addressed exactly what we asked it to address, which is this car right here, and this car right over here. So Photomatix did a pretty good job. That pretty much covers deghosting. Uh, there's kind of three different levels of deghosting uh, within Photomatix, and I think we've covered them all. If you have any questions, just let us know.